Welcome to this video presentation here at Wimbledon Carriage Company. And here we have the Mercedes-Benz GLE 350D on a 65 plate. I'm gonna start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some of the controls on the inside of it from there. From the outside though, you can see it's a five door car with alloy wheels and tinted windows. We're gonna start off inside the boot area, first of all. The tailgate in this car will open electronically. You can either do that from the key or from the tailgate itself. As we approach the back of the car, you can then see we have reversing sensors. This car's also got a parking camera as well. Okay, so we're just gonna work our way back to the front of the car before we hop in and run through those controls. But now that we've done a full circle of it, uh, you can firstly see the alloy wheels are all in fantastic condition, as is the bodywork the entire way around the vehicle. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're gonna start with the dial. So on the left-hand side, first of all, we have the speedometer and fuel gauge. On the right-hand side, the rev counter and cool and temperature gauge. In the center, uh, first of all, you can see the total miles of this car. They are 81,910. Below that, it will show you what gear this car is in. It's an automatic, of course, uh, so we are in park. You can change information displayed in this section using buttons on the steering wheel. You can, for example, have a digital readout for the speedometer, as you can see, and the buttons in question are just here. We have a phone and stereo controls, the minus and plus paddle, so that you can change up and down a gear manually with this automatic gearbox, and then over into the center, the main screen for the car. So uh, we are on the FM DAB uh, menu there at the moment. There are a number of ways you can interact with this screen. Uh, and they are either to use the buttons on here or to use this pad, which is also a button, or this wheel. So you can rest your hand on here and kind of simultaneously do both, which is probably the easiest thing to do whilst uh, the vehicle is in motion, I would imagine. Uh, but for example, if I press the radio button, we are now on the radio main menu. We're now using the wheel to switch between FM and then AM and DAB as well. You can just switch between those. Uh, you can access your media so that you can listen to your own music. Uh, and at the bottom here, you'll see it says devices, and then you can get a list of devices up on the screen. So we've got USB input. We have a CD player there, of course, as well. Um, this car's got satellite navigation, really nice, clear color display. It's a very easy system to use ultimately. And I mentioned that we had a uh, parking camera in the car. If I pop the vehicle into reverse, you can see the full color camera with guidelines to show you what direction the car is headed in in relation to those images as well. Working our way down the buttons that we went through just a moment ago we've got the uh, CD player itself uh, just here the main volume for the stereo we can answer and end phone calls once you paired your phone pairing your phone just hit that button and follow the instructions on screen. Uh, below that we've got a heated driver's seat with three different heat settings you have the same over here for the passenger side as well. Uh, we've also got the ability to turn parking sensors on and off, turn off the stop and start, have the warning lights, and also our traction control. Below that, we then have dual zone climate control. So you can adjust the passenger temperature, the driver temperature. You can increase and decrease the fan speed. You can determine what direction you'd like the air to be distributed in. Uh, when you're happy with those settings, the air conditioning is on. You can turn it uh, on and off from here. You can hit auto. In doing so, the car, as you can hear, will take full control of the direction of the air and the fan speed to maintain the temperatures that you've asked for. You can manually override that whenever you wish to. Uh, underneath that, we have two cup holders, a 12 volt charging socket, some storage at the back just here. You can, of course, close that over should you wish to. The controls went through just a moment ago, on top of which we have our uh, downhill brake control, various off-road settings, as you can see here as well. So you can turn this dial for sport, comfort uh, individual so you can set that up to your own liking uh, we've got kind of snow and ice and off-road as well most of the time you'd probably be in comfort for everyday driving the last thing i wanted to do is run through some of the paper we have for the car so you can see the spare key is in this envelope just here so there's two keys with this vehicle we have the v5 registration document of course and the service book and plenty of service receipts underneath that uh, v5 as well it's also worth me pointing out that if this vehicle or any other vehicle we sell requires an MOT within the six month period at the point at which we sell it, we will do that for you also. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car for yourself and have a test drive, or you'd like a live bespoke video tour of the car, please feel free to give us a call here at Wimbledon Carriage Company. We'd love to hear from you soon.